Hello Power Nation, welcome to our very first episode of the Power House. Hanging out here with Uriah, men's QBL player for this year, men. So, obviously, the preseason has been going well. Um, what, do you, what do you think about how the team's gone so far? I mean, like, preseason so far has been well, it's been, well, it's been like a wake up call, I guess, um, with our losses. But uh, I guess with us going back to the drawing board, knowing um, our strengths and our, and our weaknesses. So it's been it's been all right, it's been good. Um, so. Yeah, well, so mostly we've got some um, inclusion this year um, from last year, obviously, yourself being one. Uh, you know, what are you being around for a couple of years now at the power? Um, how do you see the new players and how they fit it in? Um, so, yeah, with um, Shaq and like the new guys, um, well, it's, well, um, well, it's like a family here, and uh, that's you know that's just one way to put it. Uh, it's yeah, absolutely. It's no. just more so like a brotherhood. Um, just with training and um, yeah, with uh, the uh, red games and stuff, like you know, it just feels like family. So it's nice to get everyone stuff. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. All right. All right, now, last question, before we get on to a little bit of a private Q&A here. Yeah. Um, with this big game, obviously, Mackay at the start of the year, um, they've obviously got some strong players. Um, what, what do you think will be the key to us getting the W? Uh, with Mackay, um, looking at the starting five, you know, um, all like former NBL and, and current NBL talent, um, so it's just going to be us going out with, you know, um, no, uh, uh, no back down really from the big names and uh, just just really going out. But at the same time, uh, uh, knowing the game plan and just um, sticking to it. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. All right, now we'll get into a little bit of uh, our second part of this. Um, where we try a little bit deeper and get to know the man himself. Obviously, um, so growing up, obviously moving all around Queensland as a kid. Um, in a few different places in Townsville, um, Brisbane, Bundy, I'm pretty sure, so yeah. pretty much know the whole state. Um, <laughs> how, are you, how, are you, how are you finding Gladstone? Um, Gladstone, it's, it just suits me right now. Um, just uh, low, uh, low key, I guess, low maintenance, uh, no real uh, big, uh, no real, uh, I guess, distractions, whereas yeah. like Brisbane stuff, you know, nightlife, this and that, where I see, you know, it's just uh, good to your work. That being basketball and just you know, don't really worry about um, anything else. And the locals are lovely. Yeah, absolutely, man. Now speaking about sport, um, we know you're a massive rugby league fan, mate. Um, yeah. As I am myself. <laughs> um, growing up, you play much. Do um, you have a favourite team? So what, what, what's your background in rugby league? Um, growing up and also like a, a football family, so it was all league growing up. Yeah. Um, in 2015, in my final year, uh, year of high school, I was part of the Cohen Bears program, which won the national championship. Um, that that was that was so humbling. Um, basically, 6 a.m. training each day for football. Yeah. I mean, it, it just like it was, right, right. it was just crazy. Um, but yeah, playing fullback and stuff. Um, so looking looking at uh, very interesting. I think it's pretty awesome. Um, and the South Sydney Railways, I think. Oh, awesome, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, very good. So, um, we're, we're due to the team, obviously, um, being an uh, outstanding rugby league player um, from Queensland. I mean, um, people like see how, like, see his like, um, trials and stuff, but more so it's just his um, IQ on the field, knowing where to be, yeah. um, being up to back, talking to like, each guy on the line, and he's just, he's like such a great uh, role model. On and off the field, oh, absolutely, absolutely. Great, um, great Queensland and great guy, you know, obviously for anyone who wants to look for that role model. Um, so, one more for you, obviously, uh, looking at you as a player a little bit. Uh, we've got a light and first step, mate, uh, very athletic. Is that something you've always had, or is that something you've worked on as you've got through high school? And... Uh, being honest, in high school, I was probably one of the most laziest kids you'll ever meet. Um, it was school, go home, and just sleep or whatever. Um, uh, it's it's just always been around. Um, uh, but throughout year twelve and then even after high school, um, so I've had some injuries and stuff, and 
no one knew as I thought it was, was impossible, but um, you know, now I have to learn how to work, work on that, work on my uh, athleticism and stuff. But yeah, it's, it'll be fun. Absolutely, absolutely. Sounds great. Now, we, we, we're going to finish off um, every week with the powerhouse. There's a little bit of a five question QA, a uh, bit of a rapid fire just to get to know you a little bit off the court. Um, so we'll start off with your favourite all time movie. Favourite all time movie? Uh, probably the Friday series. Very good, man. Very good, that one. Um, so, pre game or just whenever you're at home chilling, uh, what's up your playlist? Or um, R&B, um, slow, slow music, even hip hop, um, yeah, yeah, even pop. Yeah, so a little bit of everything. Yeah, I don't mind. Nice, nice, nice. Depending on what you what you found on the yeah. day. Uh, cool. Favorite all time NBA player? Uh, uh, Something you might have like, watched and watched. Uh, yeah, I'll say um, well, it's between two, John Wall and uh, Westbrook, just with them being yeah. so athletic and, and point guards. Both incredible athletes and. Uh, you know, both great athletes, uh, both great basketball players, both great athletes. So yeah. it's definitely, you know, uh, a, you know, a couple of blokes that are at the LD Asian one of point guards. Yeah. Let's do a celebrity crush. Um, on the spot. Um, have to go. Uh, have to go Beyonce. Yeah, you can't go wrong with Beyonce. Um, and obviously, um, last but not least. So your, your current match kicks and what do you look for in a shoe? Favorite all time shoe? Um, yeah, so I'm wearing uh, John Wall's uh, signature shoe while they were with Adidas. Yeah. Um, while like looking for shoes, just to see like the soul. Um, if I can like run, like you know, just 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 with like the movement and stuff. Yeah. Um, but my favorite all time would have to be the D Roses, uh, the seven seven. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good shoe. Yeah, that's a great shoe. Um, yeah, just like anything like that, where like you know, I can uh, cut quick and yeah, 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 absolutely. Well, no worries. Thanks, man, Thank for uh, for joining us in the very nice. first episode of the Powerhouse. Come down this Saturday night, um, eight o'clock tip off for the men and six o'clock for the women. We'll be there. We'd love to see you there.